So one of the first things that you need to do when looking at a model that is like this is assume that there's very little triangles in it, which there is. Now, the moment you touch a model like this with Mesh Mixer, you'll see that there is a problem. Uh, a lot of models that you download have a lot of information and they're great, but if we try to go into just uh, some draw tool, which is a basic tool to just add some space onto the model and start clicking, just bad things happen. So I would invite you to go look at the targeted video about how to fix a CAD model uh, because that is a very specific thing that happens with CAD models. But as a general sense, what you'll want to do in a model like this or any model that doesn't have enough information is remesh it. And this applies to entire models, but also models that you download where maybe some areas need a little bit more of information than others. So it applies to, in this case, this model, it applies to everywhere except for these small little bars right here, which actually are really detailed. So you can see that parts of this model are really good and parts of this model need a lot of work. So the first thing you'd want to do is remesh them. You can go into select. I'm just going to click on this and go to modify, expand to connected, which selects everything. Or you can do control or command A on your keyboard to also select everything. If you go to edit to remesh, the mesh mixer will start to remesh it. Now, this is going a little bit slower than it normally would because this area remeshes really, really quickly. But these areas right here remesh very, very slowly because they're already really dense. So kind of keep that in mind if you're working on meshes that are large or have parts in it which might make your procedure slow down. Maybe you want to deselect those before you start off. For purposes of this video, it shouldn't take too long, but just also note that when you select everything to remesh it, it has to go through every area of the mesh to do so. So you see here, with adaptive density, we've done some remeshing, but there's some weirdness that's happened inside of there. So this maybe isn't a good one to start off with. A good one to start off with is linear subdivision which doesn't change the shape of the model, it just makes an existing large triangle subdivided into smaller ones. So you'll see when the tool comes back here that the top of this bar right here was just one triangle on this side and one triangle on the other side. And once this comes back, you'll see that those triangles are now slightly increased. And again, this tool is going slowly because it has to remesh those loops or arches there and makes the mesh a lot more dense. But this is fine actually for what for purposes of illustration. If I just say accept mesh mixel, we'll think about it for a second and then we see that this has done a really, really comprehensive subdivision. If we go back out the model and clear the selection, the model is the way that it was before. But if I hit the W key, it's now so dense. You can see in here that we could do a lot to it. And again, these arches are now super, super dense. But if we go back and start running like a sculpt tool, like the draw tool on it, we will get a much more predictable result. So that's one of the first things to look at if you are having problems with your mesh is the density of the mesh. And one other final thing, this is great. I'm just adding on, but I can also go into refinement here and turn up the reduction and brush on this and make it a little bit more loose. Now, obviously, you can do this to your entire model all at once as well, but you can also reduce the density later on using various tools and commands if you so want.